All right, good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Fast Track to Fascism. I'm Heather. And I'm Krista. We'd like to welcome you back to our show. It's been a kind of hectic two weeks, and we're not going to explain that anymore. Anyways, we want to start off tonight by saying thank you. Yes, and our ratings have gone much. through the through the roof. So through the roof, and we are so excited. And this is great. This is this is all that I dreamed of and more. And we want to just say thank you to everyone that's subscribing and everyone that's messaging us and everyone that's um, commenting and saying you know how they felt my message was coming across. And then we also want to say thank you to Infowars and all the people that and work Alice for Alex Jones, Jones in particular, and thank the people so that much. work for him as well yes. who offered up the actual seven minute clip of my interview yes. on Alex Jones. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and putting it up, and then also for defending us on on some people that were being pretty trashy. Yes. We also want to um, say thank you. Omar the Pug, you're an asshole. <laughs> yeah, straight up, dude, you suck. <laughs> but no, we're not trying to fight. We're not trying to fight amongst ourselves. We have a bigger enemy to worry about. Yes. And as soon as we stop fighting amongst ourselves, there's all these stupid people on the internet that some of those people, you know they got to listen to Alex Jones and sit there and like, I hate you. I hate you. Oh my God, you're so stupid. I hate you. And like, because I used to do that when I was 12, when I'd listen to Pastor Hagee on TV. Oh and I'd be like, God. oh my God, you idiot. I can't believe you're saying that. And then, you know, you grow up after 12 years old. Well, and you realize every Sunday when I was younger, I used to watch Meet the Press and yell at my TV. So, you <laughs> but know. you realize that that's stupid. Yeah. I mean, like I don't do that anymore. It's Jesus. a waste of your effort, right? It's a waste of energy. So waste of we're gonna address first off the comments that were left as opposed to the Alex Jones show, mm -hmm. and also the comments that were left to us and the messages that were sent to us. And um, that's basically what our show is gonna be about tonight, and to revamp what we're doing this for, so all these new watchers can um, see what we're about. Yes. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start off. So the assholes and the critics that don't know us, because when you're on the Alex Jones show, let me tell you, you don't get your whole point across. You have, yeah. it's nerve wracking. It's like, oh my god. I you mean, get seven minutes of time, and you know, Alex takes up at least three of it. And seven minutes—that's a large yeah. amount of time he offered me. For, I mean, some people he just hangs up on. So yeah, thank yeah. you again. Um, but children, stop fighting. Stop stop leaving these stupid comments. So we're gonna start All right, off kids, with kids, calm down. Right. <laughs> Okay, children, quit fighting amongst yourselves. Do not make me pull this car over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off with the address of um, <coughs> what my life is. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. Um, I play a pool, okay? Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I happen to be pretty good at it. And um, here in Lubbock, that's pretty much what there is to do when the sun goes down. You can go play pool or shuffleboard or sing karaoke or... And that's it. I mean, there's really nothing to do. So um, to those people who say, um, oh, well, you're trying to wake people up in bars, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't sit there and set up and, a goddamn booth and yeah, hand out 9-11 yeah. flyers in the bar. Like, I do that here on YouTube because that's what I can afford to do is YouTube. And um, so... But you don't take out the conversation when you're talking to somebody and you're talking to them about legal problems or life yeah. problems or whatever kind of problems that they have. I mean, you talk to them about what's going on and you inform them. And then you talk to them on the real level, not like yeah. the, you're wrong, you know, yelling at them. You talk to them like they're an actual person because you can't just yell at people, you know, and expect them to get it. Um, so what I do is I run a housekeeping business. I work for myself and I clean people's toilets all day. Okay. And I make good money, and I, I do have good people and clients, and Krista works with me. And, um, On occasion. <laughs> yeah, we get all of our stuff done. You know, if we do two houses in a day, we each make about $75 for the day, and we're done by 2, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. So, um, and then we come here, and we sit and we research until about 8 or 9 at night, and then we do a YouTube video when we have the time to, because it takes about four hours, huh? Yeah, it takes four hours of, of at least, you know, researching. And, and doing thinking, links. And, and, and linking, and doing the editing, and the... the no, the editing is, is actually, the editing is more than the four hours. The yeah. four hours is just a later episode. Yeah, so. it's, just, it's just a way the whole thing The out. main thing is, is that um, you need a break after that, and I go shoot pool. And anybody that wants to criticize me on that, like, I'm sorry, dude. I don't see your fucking YouTube video posted. And, and yeah. other than that, like, <laughs> at least I'm posting a YouTube video. Criminy. All right, and come baby. to your come to Lubbock yourself, man. Yeah, come, come to, to Lubbock this town and tell me. And see, well, <laughs> actually, no, no, thing. just watch ESPN later tonight, and you'll see all the tech kids go crazy if they win against um, where they play in Oklahoma. Oklahoma, yeah. Yeah, because we all saw it with UT last week, and you Ooh, could walk outside, and it was nuts. I mean, drunk kids hanging yeah, out of their windows. Oh my gosh, dude, those people were going fucking nuts down my street. No, they they were. It was crazy. Crazy. And it's just like you really care that much about football, but you don't care about you know your civil liberties. Wow. Um, it was a good game, though. It was a good game. Yeah. Um, so the other, the other comments that were distressed. Krista, tell me about what you think about the comments you wrote about that, because I'm um, talking too much. No, seriously. Um, uh, there were there were several comments that I saw that um, showed that 
that um, people were as concerned as, as Heather and I are, and they had the same feeling like we're about to run into a brick wall and you can't turn around, you can't stop, you can't, you know, you are about to get your head blown off from a loaded gun. So, um, yeah, the, all those people were trying to find a solution, we're trying to find, you know, a peaceful revolution, as Willie Nelson says. But and we want to say, we want to say that, that um, distress and the distress in my voice is going to yeah. come from the fact that I'm talking to Alex Jones, yeah. okay? Oh, yeah, and, and <laughs> you know what, if, if you were on the phone with one of your personal heroes, I'm really sure that your voice would be shaky, too. And, I mean, we <laughs> admire these people, we admire yeah. Alex, and we definitely admire Very the kids so. that work with him, and definitely, I don't have any kids, I, don't, I have my own business, I can leave it anytime I want to, I would love to work um, with anybody that does this, like Naomi Wolf, can I come work for you, honey? Alex, can I come work for you? I'll help you researchers, I'm a research psychologist. Um, other than that, I would, um, if they're going to go and, and say they're going to put us in camps, you know, yeah. like, distress, yes, guys, that's yes. the only thing that's going to stop you from being put into a camp. Like, I mean, do you think that, that in the revolution, they were like, oh, you know, Whatever. British are going to come and, you know, they're going to live in our homes. Yeah, the power of is like, the British are coming. Take all our money. The British are coming. It's okay, yeah, just take all our money, you know, yeah. like, yeah, dude, the British are coming, it's cool. <laughs> Paul Revere was like uh, so here's here. here's my question that I have to say is um, do you know what it's like to wake up from a nightmare yeah and we are trying to be the alarm mm -hmm. clock and, and yeah. there's ripples of changes that come through the people like you call them sheeple you get out on them and say sheeple and you criticize them but the thing is is that you can either be enemies with them or you can try to talk to them like like a human being and, yeah. and be like, look, dude, I know we differ, but it's okay because um, we're all the same people. We all belly buttons. We we all need to realize that we have these rights, and we've discussed that in our past episodes. Yes. Um, let's see. Also, we want to address that it's not fear that we're pushing, and that's why when I called, I was trying to say that there's the light that's on our side. Yeah. And before, when I was waiting on hold, like I was standing because this phone was about to die over the sink full of dirty dishes yeah. and waiting because Krista didn't do them and uh, waiting and I was shaking and Krista was like quit shaking Heather and she you know we're just trying to do the woo saw thing like calm down and I could literally see spirals when I'd close my eyes like I mean I do believe in light I do believe in energy flowing I do believe that there's there's darkness and then there's light and and all the ways that they are connected and all the ways that they are connected through Bilderberg and all this crap we're connected on wavelengths though we're not connected on you know uh, there are affiliations you and, know? and the reason we want to say that is that our point in that is that um, we knew before we had watched Alex Jones. Like, we'd watched oh, yeah. Waking Life. We watched Waking Life when we were really young. Yeah, I like was 17. 15, 15, 16, definitely. Yeah. Um, so. and, and we saw, like, God, oh my God, like two months ago we saw an Alex Jones clip and I was like, dude, is that the dude from Waking Life? And yeah, sure enough, like, it was. Just two months ago, we just stumbled upon Alex Jones. We hadn't even sought him out. We stumbled upon him right. and started listening every single day. And like the chemtrails, I didn't know who Alex Jones was when I saw that shit. I, yeah, didn't, exactly. I didn't have anybody telling me to look this up. I didn't have, I mean, it was the no. It was the it was, no. It was yeah. like the question behind it. It was the like looking up and going, oh, maybe they are combating global warming. Yeah. And, I mean, it was seeing the FEMA camps and going, hmm, why do they need to house 250,000 people? Yeah. Um, so... Mm -hmm. We are, we are aware That's that there the are many people it. that are aware. We are very aware that there are many people that are aware. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was saying to Alex Jones, like, we are on the same wavelength. We, are, we might be freaking out, we might be scared, but that's what's motivating us to be the ripples in the water. Yeah. Um, so please don't hold us um, to a crazy standard of, like, posting up all your links. Because anything that we mention, you can just Google Scholar that shit and find out for yourself. Unless you're really that lazy. I mean, we're going to tell you exactly the words to put in if yeah. we don't put the link up. But most of the time, if it's real important, we'll put the link up. Um, and we don't have the money to go out and, and to start huge revolutions and print out mass things. And yeah. <coughs> I mean, we're both just two regular American citizens from that fucking West That are 22 Texas. and 23 years old. 22 and I mean, 23. I've got kids, you know. This is out of my house. This is my bedroom that you're seeing here, people, is my bed. Yep. You know, this is my home. I mean... We're just regular people that want fucking answers, and that's why we're doing this. Because and so we love you. In summation, we want you to yes. Be smart. In summation, we love you, and yeah, that is the we point. We love you, and that doesn't, doesn't mean even matter. If you can even leave bad remarks about us. Yeah. We still love you. We just wish you wouldn't fight. Yeah, against Omar the, people the Pug. The pig. Omar the Pug. Yeah, this is actual name is Omar the Pug, but Omar the pig. Um, I Thanks, still Steve. love you. I yeah. still love you. Because I mean, we're not fighting you, honey. Being. You're not. You're not threatening me. You're not a threat to me. There's other things that are a threat yeah. to me. So, and calling people Volkswagens is really yeah. fucking rude. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. We and have a huge stature difference. Like she's little. That and is just the 
like worst thing that you can ever do to anybody ever is to to poke something. And actually, that, you're you're kind of like the Gestapo and like these other people that you know do sexually degrading things. And hey, actually, Omar the Pug, do me a favor and look up the Zimbardo Prisoner Guard experiment for me, okay? Yeah. And then the Milgram experiment. I think it was in 1964. All right, yeah. Google those things, okay? We love you guys. Not a personal attack. We still love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs>